There had been a handful of states that had liberalized their abortion laws in the late 60s and early 70s. But abortion really became a national issue when in 1973 the Supreme Court announced a constitutional right to abortion. Roe was the first time the Supreme Court uh, spoke about abortion and uh, not only was it a you know, major legal precedent but it also transformed the issue into a huge political issue. Uh, by 1980, for instance, the Republican platform uh, had a very strong uh, anti-abortion plank uh, calling for a constitutional amendment to uh, uh, ban abortion. Um, and it also uh, spawned a series of legal challenges over the years, uh, testing every aspect of uh, abortion rights, including laws about informed consent, about uh, notifying spouses, about waiting periods that came to the court in the intervening years. As the court became more conservative over the years, there was less support on the court for abortion rights. And what had been a 7 to 2 decision uh, became basically 5 to 4 outcomes in later cases. Now, the second major case that the Supreme Court heard on abortion was in 1992, when the court actually reaffirmed the right to abortion in a case called Planned Parenthood v. Casey. That was a case in which the court actually upheld a number of state restrictions that Pennsylvania had passed. But at the same time, uh, it talked about the importance of a woman's right to choose, uh, at least until the point of viability, the point at which a fetus can survive outside the womb, which is usually around 23 to 24 weeks. In 2018, Mississippi enacted a ban on abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy. But as the case developed and as the composition of the court changed, Mississippi and the anti-abortion movement decided to use this case as a direct assault on Roe and Casey. When people show up outside the court, when cases are argued or big decisions uh, are handed down, uh, you know, the court, the sidewalk in front of the court fills with people on both sides of the issue. Uh, in addition, there have been marches over the years uh, by both sides, including there's an annual uh, uh, march by uh, abortion opponents that starts down on the National Mall and ends uh, in front of the Supreme Court. It's always on the anniversary of the Roe decision. Um, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of political energy uh, surrounding abortion. Uh, it's also an issue that both both parties uh, think that uh, they can use to their benefit uh, in electoral politics. And so we'll have a chance to see that in this year's uh, midterm elections. <laughs> 